Right there. Um, is there, is there, has there ever been any line that just totally crashed your train of thought to the floor? What the hell is this? Um, yesterday I talked about, um, how many of you in uh, show business here play child molesters? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody? Just me? Awesome, let me tell that story. <laughs> Anime fans uh, uh, that pay attention to the shit that I get into, I work on a movie called Gogo 13 Queen Bee. And, uh, okay. uh, so Gogo 13, famous manga, uh, the first Gogo 13 was called The Professional, uh, sort of like raised the bar for anime and American dubs. And uh, for all anime films, like they stopped being like, you know, what, what are you doing? I don't know, I don't understand. It went from that to being like, what are you doing? Good shit, right? So, Golgo is a man of few words. They hired John DiMaggio, who plays Marcus. He plays Golgo 13. He plays the James Bond assassin, which is awesome. I, I read for it, I was glad John got it, because I love John's voice. I get cast as the bad guy. How bad, I had no fucking idea. Yeah. Did, who, who in the room has heard this story before? Okay, all right. So, I'll, I'll spin it so that I don't bore you. What ends up happening is they tell me, they give me a script, and you know, even though I, I'm like, give me, I want to prepare and all that shit, but literally, I want to prepare for whatever this guy does. You can't prepare for this character tossing a little girl in the back of a limousine and saying, a pretty girl like you will catch a nice price. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris, can I ask you a question? What's going on right now? There's a little pause, a little movement, and... Oh, he's gonna rape her. <laughs> oh. How old is she again? They're like, I don't know, looks like nine. And... <laughs> hey Chris, I have another question. Who is this little girl? Uh, could be her da his daughter, I think. <laughs> I don't know. He, the, the mother has had a lot of kids, and I think that this guy's such a piece of shit that he, he, it doesn't really matter, Carlos. Just, just, do, just do it. Just do the line. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a pretty girl like, Chris, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> And uh, it went on like that for a bit, and then um, he goes, <laughs> you have, you guys have to rent this or see it on Netflix or something. It's so fucking funny and awesome now that you know the story behind it. But um, he goes, uh, do you want to see the footage? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's see the footage. And, and he goes, do you want to hear the, the Japanese audio? Yeah, 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 anything, anything to help me with this child molester. <laughs> so, they show the footage, and, and they, it's this little girl, or you know, whatever, thrown into the back of a limb when she does that that typical, like stereotypical Japanese anime voice, where she's like, <laughs> and all that shit, and I'm like, oh, fuck, it's <laughs> so horrible. And then they cut to my character who wears glasses, Thomas Waltham is his name, and I'm not kidding. And this is supposed to help. This is, I'm like, I'm like, this is gonna help me because I'm gonna get what a piece of shit he is. And I'll know the voice, and we'll move on to the next scene where he's not raping some kid. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. And he shows the girl gets the toss, and then when he does the line, he looks like this. <laughs> it didn't help. Another question.